When we boarded the aircraft in Belgrade, I found all my press colleagues had already settled themselves in the tail. Frank Swift was on this side, Henry Rose, George Follows on that side, I believe. And you see, we always flew together. We were always a happy party. But for some reason that day, I thought I'd move forward. And that was a decision that saved my life. I moved to the forward part of the aircraft because there was more room here and also because the seats were facing the rear and there was a, a lot of argument at the time that they were the safest seats and there had been an air crash at Cardiff with a rugby team where only one person survived and it was with, with that sort of un indecision that I moved there but in fact it was a, a happy decision and here opposite me was Harry Gregg now I understand that Harry was going to play cards but in fact he wanted to play with Yugoslav money and the other boys wanted to play with Sterling and he just said, oh, well, I'm a bit tired, and he sat there. It was a, a lucky decision for him. Matt, as I recall, was on this side of the plane, just further down uh, amidships. Here was my colleague, uh, Peter Howard, the Daily Mail photographer, and his colleague, the telegraphist. And behind me, there was uh, Mrs. Mc, uh, Mrs. Lucic and her baby. And really, between Belgrade and... Munich, I was so bored sitting on my own that I actually moved into the rear of the plane to talk to my friends. We were such a happy group. But anyway, on the vital runs, this is where I was sitting. This is how it was on the third tragic run. I fastened myself in, and we set off down the runway, roaring away. And as I looked out, I could see the red building where we'd stopped on the first two runs. And as I looked in that direction towards the wheels, I couldn't see whether they were off the ground. And I leaned to Bobby Charlton and to Dennis Viler. Have the wheels gone up? There was no reply. And at that moment I thought, I'll see for myself. Turn, and that was the one moment of fear because I could see the perimeter fence apparently rushing towards us. And as I turned again in my seat, I got a terrific blow just behind the, my left ear. And I could feel my senses slipping away. There was a terrific bang at that moment and as I turned like that I could see the bulkhead caving in and there were suitcases flying all over the place and then as I was trying to clear my head I couldn't breathe <gasps> and then mercifully my eyes closed and by that time of course we were through the perimeter fence.